Yeah, Hamlet welcome TV. you all to Hamless TV. Ah, my lovely Hamlet viewers, Hamlet another Hamlet Wahala Hamlet. today again. Mm, this one, the truth, now they come out. So, for northern part of the country, when be Nigeria, so they don't come out. So, the northern people don't come out, can't declare Buhari terrorists. They say, yes, Buhari, they are among the Boko Haram when it be say, they kill everybody for inside the country. So, they don't come out, can't expose who Buhari be. For the attack when it be say, it happened for Abagena village. Mm. Those people that they say government, government. Now the reality don't come out. Say this one be unknown government or government. No, this is to Boko Haram terrorists. Now Boko Haram terrorists. Now they go attack for that village. Only well, be say they came more than twenty something people displaced many. So and then they voice now they come and they tell Mr. Buhari when he call himself president. Say make he can't do something. You no, know, because if not, then they go take the law into their own hands. As me and you, the young, so 52 northern associations, they don't come out for inside Nigeria there. Yes, the northern people, they don't come out to come renew the request for the global community. Say, may they come intervene for this Wahala when they for Nigeria. Yes, they call on the United Nations and everybody when it be say, it get power. Say, may they come come out, come declare Biafra state. Yes, may they come liberate Biafra because this Wahala, where it they go, so it don't too much. Oh. They say the insecurity when they for inside that country when they, they call Nigeria, it don't too much. Oh. So many people not feel they come out again, kidnapping everywhere. Even self say the insecurity, they threaten the peace of this the the, the police and the, the army. So uh -huh. so you know, understand now. They don't come out and declare I can't say the truth. Say even Muhammadu Buhari self say if they among those people when they terrorize the country, in the among the Boko Haram, and they use this moment to they beg on when it be say on a be BBC, on a be channel television, or anyone's when it be say on a be say they bring out news. Make you know, they show us the real things when it be say it they happen because it can't be like say some of you now they among the government. So you know, come the part of the government, not come they give us the real information of what thing they happen. She be you know, say and be get as it be because for this uh, attack now when they carry on for our bag now, you now they come and they tell us say now unknown government or no maybe unknown government. Men are say the truth because all this attack when carry on. So now Boko Haram now then they do and so you know, I don't see how many people when it be say Boko Haram even kidnap including pregnant women self including a soldier wife all of them come out for their interview they beg say may governments call help them may they come liberate them and we'll see what they will come around they do so now then they kidnap everybody when they for inside that country for nigeria so they demand ransom now so we'll go continue on so i beg make our voice come out make una let the world know the truth say be france they need their state say the intimidation for be france land is too much and we'll see where as they go so because this matters so when they say unknown government or uh, uh, bandits or this one, all these attacks on so Boko Haram, and then they carry all this attack. And with the land now, the final say almost uh, 200 kilometers to Abuja. Say Boko Haram said they don't claim one village for that area, they don't even put their flag for that place. Just to tell you, say, <clears throat> say Abuja safe in order to save again. No, uh -huh. so I go leave and I make una watch the video. So make una hear and from the horse's mouth. I beg it my first time when they join me. Make you not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel when they call Hamless TV. I beg subscribe, click the notification bell so that you too go know the information, the things when they happen around you. Thank you all and remain blessed. Look forward, look here. Look here. Okay, Mr. President, we want justice. Justice must prevail. We want you to allow us to use AK-47, the same way the Fulanis are using. Yes. Yesterday we saw them with our, we saw them with our eyes. They were speaking Fulanis, not and bandit. It was full of news. We saw them. They came and attacked this village. They killed more than 20 people. Their aim was to attack the IDP camp. But because of the neighboring villages, they killed and some with injured others. Some are at the hospital right now. Mr. President, if you if you know you are in power, if you know you are the president of this country, we voted for you. And you must rise and do something. Yes, we we'll do our best. We must do our best. My name is Mr. Amos Amo. I'm the leader, youth leader of this community. This is Abagina village. Thank you. I'm from this community. Uh, at about 12 o'clock last night, or this morning, uh, I was walking with the news that uh, the Flani headmen have uh, killed so many people in this community. And this is not the only community. 
um, presiding over. They were recently, just about uh, uh, five days ago, they killed so many within the same community. And they have been killing, there have been so many killings, and uh, we, as a community, we say this should be the last killing. Otherwise, we 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 we, we, among, we, we go to self help. Her self help. If government cannot, government cannot. Uh, uh, yes, we, we the federal government has refused to uh, provide security for the community, provide security for people of Benue State and Nigeria at large. So we will resort to self help. How many people are here today? Uh, we can see six corpses. Others are in the hospital. We do not know how many. I'm the prominent son of Benue State. This is my place. Abagana. Hallelujah. This is Abagana. And yesterday night, they called us that uh, the flying people have invaded. My sister is here while I was in, uh, in, in Agan. This didn't happen exactly some few minutes to 12. Before the information reached the community, it was already 12 o'clock. So it is sad. And what I what to me, what I want to tell the, the president is that he should arise as how the governor is telling him. That he should arise with responsibility. This is Sadoni. We are not happy any longer. Like, for instance, I will, I, I would like to blame our, our governor in some extent that he has collected our weapons. He has collected our weapons since the history of the team nations. No, no tribe and nobody has ever defeated the team people. But because the governor has collected our weapons, now we are helpless. They say that we should, that we should submit our arms. We have submit our arms, and now the Fulanese they are attacking us. We don't have any other thing to do. There's no, they say anybody that move with cutlasses that they should arrest him. The Fulanese that move with AK-47, and nobody is here to say anything. There was no security in IDP. They came exactly to attack the IDP. It was because of the neighboring people that we are close to this place. It's happening. Within the last two weeks, we have lost more than 70 people between the local governments of Makwudi, Guma, and Gwe West. Just a little. In addition to what you're seeing here today, many are in hospital, apart from the six that were killed, and one died in hospital. So that the seven people died, and others are still in the hospital. My deputy is going there now. But I want to say that we are being overstretched. Our patient and our preaching of rule of law and due process. You can see that the people are fed up. Mr. President must rise up. He's the president of Federal Republic of Nigeria, and over the 250 nationalities that are in this country, Mr. President is their president. They voted him. We all voted him. He's our president. He has taken order of office to secure the country and provide security for lives and property. This is unacceptable. This cannot continue. Mr. President cannot continue to be aloof. Mr. President must rise up to address the nation himself, not Gad Bashehu or any of his assistants. Mr. President must tell us where we are going in this country. This is too much. We are being overstretched and this is not acceptable. The body language, the action and inaction of Mr. President shows that he's only the president of Fulani people. I have warned this. I have written to him, I have written to the security agencies that uh, Mayor Tiala anchored a meeting in Yola and said that except we repeal the prohibition of open grazing law, otherwise nobody will know this. They will kill, they will maim, they will rape, they will do all kinds of atrocity. They have started doing it. And it's, it's amazing that we're becoming a banana republic. If we have a president, Mr. President gives order, gave security agencies orders to shoot at sight whosoever is having AK-47. And then the Minister of Defense came out to say that uh, they cannot shoot at sight. Those people should be prosecuted. So who is Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces? So this kind of game, this lies, this falsehood that is being played out, it is not just after. It is better for me not to be alive to see this kind of uh, shame of leadership. What, what is going on? Nigerians, my colleagues, the governors, we must arise and impress on the president to call a security summit. If possible, ensure that the uh, uh, state of emergency is declared on security so that all hands will be on deck to address this matter. But what is happening now, to me, it is very clear. 
Mr. President is just working for this phone to take over the whole country. His body language is what is, is being played out. Mr. President gives order, and another person, Melissa, come and counter him. Is that what a shame? Just like the first lady said some time ago, where are the men in this country? To come out and confront this, that, that is Mr. President's wife coming out to lament and to cry and to say that Nigerians should arise, that something is wrong. The president must tell us what is wrong with him so that we can all help him. I want to call on my colleagues, the governors, because after presidency is the governors. We must work hard to ensure that we salvage this country. Otherwise, this country where I am seeing it, it is being drowned. And we must salvage it. Otherwise, tomorrow we wake up, there will be no country. You can imagine, if I have not been there, that major road is blocked. You can imagine what will start happening. So this is it. We can't allow you to take over the, the place. But that is what they're agitating now. Um, I said, goat does not bite. But when goat is pushed to the wall, it bites. That is where we are. We are fed up. We want, don't want to restart to software. We believe in the unity of this country. And that is what I've been preaching. But we're being overstretched.